good afternoon. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Indian Embassy in Paris. You are here, mixed together. You have the Eurobox Youth Platform, made of uh, about 25 young people from Europe and the BRICS who worked during the whole week on this Eurobox Youth con uh, Platform and Eurobox Project concept. Uh, and um, more people here from uh, different uh, spheres uh, and mostly European but not only we have some people coming from Brussels uh, someone coming I think from Bulgaria we do have people who are coming from a, a little further away than just Paris interested in this concept of uh, why are these people bridging, bridging European BRICS uh, and that is really what is the aim of this conference so this Eurobricks week in Paris that we were having was like a working week uh, for the youth by uh, well, organized by LEAP uh, to enable them to meet again, like they met in Helsinki, work together, discuss again what, why this Eurobricks uh, uh, angle and how to defend it, how to defend peace, how to set, how to project ourselves in, on a 20 year ahead project uh, uh, with a view to build a peaceful multipolar world. Brics economies are also economies of young people. <laughs> I think that. Uh, New platforms of global governance like EurAfrica, I, I call it EurAfrica, Europe and Africa, and Eurasia, Europe and BRICS, should be answers to the globalized challenges and threats based on the new approach to the world global problems, addressing them on a global scale and on a new structure and on a new problem driven basis. Uh, that is the payment system. We don't want to be uh, just. Um, uh, engaged in only one party as SWIFT is concerned and uh, multipolarity as well as multi-relationship is very important and that is why uh, within uh, the uh, BRICS and Eurasian Union we are carrying out a project of uh, uh, the uh, payment system. I think there are two words here that are perhaps quite useful to think about. Uh, the one is science as an instrumental good and that is where you expect science to deliver in the short term results that can be of use to improving the human condition. <coughs> and the second one is inspirational science. And that is, if you like, continuing the important role of the Enlightenment. It's post-Enlightenment, it's Enlightenment into the future. So South Africa's astronomy project is inspirational. And. Uh and uh, since this uh, day, we are trying to strive for this vision of a borderless Europe, democratic, diverse Europe that is socially, politically, economically integrated. Uh, the Eurobix Young Leaders Platform is a citizen-based network bringing together individuals, communities from Europe and the BRICS. We aim to pave the way for an inclusive, multipolar uh, world throughout through public diplomacy, political analysis and cultural exchange. So this is another example of where Italy, UK, England, other you know major weapon manufacturing countries have an opportunity in India and need to look for you know uh, the BRICS way. The Europe has an opportunity in BRICS and the BRICS has an opportunity in India. Then when it comes to Euro BRICS, yes, we reached a common vision during this very very interesting week, and we realize we realize that we want a multipolar world. But I think that this is something related not only to something desirable, but something that is needed. Because nowadays, multipolarity simply means living in a reality of interdependence. As you can all know, policymakers, citizens, now already in this moment, we are dependent among each other. If we think about the very interesting data and reports about financing, about culture, about society, about the data that just Satir mentioned, we are totally interconnected. We can't just stay in a vision of competition, but we have to arrive to a reality of cooperation. And finally, I would like to add just one point. When we talk about like mobility challenges, we are not only talking about student and academic challenges. We also talk about phenomena such as massive flows of migrants and refugees. And um, just so that there would be more uh, clarity on what we stand for, I would like to list the uh, seven golden words, so-called, uh, that we use to define our main objectives, and those are multipolarity, 
uh, multiculturalism, democracy, sustainability, modernity, uh, mobility, and innovation. So we find this essential for uh, prosperous development of the multipolar world. I want to again highlight the importance of Europe and also BRICS for China and uh, for Europe and BRICS. So I remember that in the last year in China we celebrated the 40th anniversary of the diplomatic relationship between China and Europe and uh, we see that the country le the leaders from both sides they reach a consensus on how China and Europe should work together both parties two sides can contribute to a better world in the future politically, economically and culturally. Uh, we see a lot of tensions, conflict going around, uh, around the globe. And if we start embedding the issue of con the concept of dual citizenship within the, the world, it will be an effective and it will be significant for us because we'll be teaching people how to live with people, we'll be teaching people tolerance, we'll be teaching people collaboration, we'll be teaching people how to listen to other people and how to engage with other people around the world. So we all want the economy to change, right? But we never talk about wanting to move from a want-based economy to a need-based economy, which today is the most relevant thing that we want to look at. And when we talk about sustainability, we always end up talking about the economic development aspect first, not being true to ourselves and understanding that social development and environmental development will actually lead to better economic development without the focus of having that. So, I think this is uh, what, what you're thinking about in terms of learning from each other is becoming part of the international system. And therefore, I think what you're doing is fantastically important and you can be part of this and you can contribute, you can help the leaders uh, to lead. Now, finally, this question of connectivity. Infrastructure is a form of connectivity, getting from A to B, right? But uh, connectivity is global now, and supply chains are global. But it's more than supply chains. It's also intellectual interconnections. It's also cultural interconnections. So there's a new concept called Connectography, connectography. So you can draw new kinds of maps of the world showing how it interconnects on a large number of levels. And these uh, maps, they aren't drawn up on, they don't work on a national basis or even a regional basis. They are global. And so uh, the Eurobricks is thinking in those terms of the future and the vision of the future. And I think um, on all of those <coughs> levels, you've been working in the last week. And so I just do want to say one last word, which is I think it's great. And um, I think you can be a very important part of this.